Good evening, welcome to my laboratory. Uh, let's see if I can get this to work. Okay, uh, what we have here is my uh, wireless uh, Jewel Thief arrangement. And I've attached it, I've demonstrated this unit before, but for this demonstration I've attached this uh, high efficiency LED AP2502 current sync combo up here uh, to the Jewel Thief side. Now this unit does not have any batteries, it just has this uh, 10 farad 2.7 volt supercapacitor here as a reservoir. And uh, here I'm showing the voltage on that capacitor, so that's uh, 700 millivolts is the voltage on that capacitor right now. And that is barely enough to get the uh, blue light of the LED of the Jewel Thief side glowing a little bit, but not very much. Now I have two buttons on this arrangement. This one over here just shorts this capacitor through a 1 ohm resistor so that I can bleed off any residual charge that's on this 10 farad capacitor. And this button here uh, turns on the Jewel Thief side of this little wireless unit. Uh, and here again is the voltage on that capacitor. So what I'm going to do is push the discharge button and discharge that capacitor voltage um, down to some low value just to get rid of the residual charge on the capacitor so that you can get an idea of how fast it charges up and uh, how fast it runs down when we have the lights going. Okay, that's pretty low. Now I've taken my finger off the button and you can see that there's a little bit of recovery, dielectric recovery there. Now what I'm going to do is turn on the electrosmog source in my laboratory. And now you can see the voltage. Uh, this unit now is picking up the uh, radiated electrosmog from my electrosmog source. And you can see that the capacitor is charging fairly rapidly now. And uh, in, a, in a moment or so, the green LED, this one right here, this green LED is simply directly across the capacitor. So it's driven without any circuitry, just by the storage uh, that's on the capacitor. And you can see it's beginning to glow now. It starts glowing a little bit over 1.7 volts. Okay, so now I gotta switch ranges on this thing. Okay. So now I think you might be able to see that this LED is starting to glow now too. It has a forward voltage of about 2.2 .2 volts. And it is connected uh, basically in, uh, it bypasses the switch here, so it's connected also in series with this capacitor here. Now we've reached our 2.7 volts, so I'm going to turn off the uh, electrosmog source so I don't uh, overcharge this capacitor by too much. It's actually 2.7 volts, we're up to 2.82 volts. Now I think you can see that this LED here is glowing brilliantly, as is the green LED. Now these are both effectively in series, uh, or rather, I'm sorry, the two LEDs are basically in parallel and they're simply across the legs of this reservoir capacitor. So there's no Joule Thief action going on right now, and since I've turned off the wireless uh, smog source, uh, we're now just running on the stored energy that's in that capacitor. And you can see that the voltage on the capacitor is dropping pretty slowly, but it is dropping. And I guess you can see that uh, that both the LEDs are pretty bright, but that white one is especially brilliant um, at the moment. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, go back to the discharge button here and I'm going to just waste a bunch of the power uh, or energy rather that's stored on that capacitor simply by shorting it through that 1 ohm resistor. We'll take it down to about 
uh, 1.4 volts or so. So in that way, neither of the of the three LEDs is actually on. But now I can push the Jewel Thief button, and once again I get the brilliant uh, the brilliant white LED coming on, and the blue Jewel Thief LEDs comes on as well. And you can see that the voltage uh, we're still running on the stored capacitor voltage, stored capacitor energy. But since we're now using the Joule Thief, it's not only running at a lower voltage, the lights are not only running at a lower voltage, but also the overall current drain uh, is pretty low. So the capacitor voltage doesn't decrease very fast. It takes quite a while. Let me change the range here. So I think you can see from this demonstration that this uh, this white LED combo, white LED plus the AP2502 current sink combo, is uh, very efficient and it runs uh, very well uh, as a Jewel Thief load. Um, and in a moment, I'll show you what the uh, what the signal looks like. Um, that's driving that LED right now. So stand by. Okay, so here's the scope probe location. I have it connected to the uh, anode side of, the, of both of the LEDs here. And uh, there's that brilliant light. And here's what it looks like on the scope. Stand by. Okay, so here you can see the DC level is about 1.33 volts right there. And now I'm going to turn on the Jewel Thief. And there's the, the uh, waveform. And it's showing 154, 155 kilohertz right now. And uh, there's the frequency with a duty cycle of about 50%, 47.5% and the peak voltage is uh, 3.4 volts, 1, 2, 3.4 volts right there. And um, so that's what it looks like. That's the signal that's driving those LEDs. Thank you for watching.